Hello to you all. So recently I picked up this mount right here, the Leap 08 from Scalaworks. I did a video where I unboxed it through my scope in there and everything. But along with that 30 millimeter mount, I picked up an accessory for it because of course, why not add another $100 to a $400 scope mount? And what I got was the Kick 02. And what this is, is a 35 degree offset mount for different optics that attaches directly to your optic mount right here. So there's a few different versions of this. There's the 01, which is basically just a Picatinny riser that mates directly to a 1913 Picatinny rail. There's the Kick 02 and 03. The 02s for RMR, SRO, and light footprint. So some of your hollow suns. And the 03 is for your aim point acro, stuff like that. So as you can see, the boxes are similar between the two. Just the size is what's different. You have your magnets that keep it shut again. And on the bottom, it tells you what it is. As you can see, RMR offset mount, right hand. There is a left hand versus right hand. They are not interchangeable. Packaging is very similar. Kick your little manual. You have the actual kick that is vacuum sealed. And then inside you have two Torx picks. That was the same with the optic mount over there. It came with two and it looks like color uh, coordinated here as well. And then you have your mounting hardware. kick and it is very very light as i said a little bit under a quarter three quarters of an ounce and as you can see this is the mating surface that matches with the footprint i'm sorry if you guys can hear all that thunder uh just storming right now here the mating surface that will mount up with the, my optic and i went with an rmr Uh, what is this one? This is a 06. Oh, I'll have to throw that off. Take the little Trigicon mount off. But yeah, so you have your screws that will go in on the opposite side of your mount. I'll show you that in a second. It looks like it comes with some Loctite or some kind of thread locker. And in the packet over here, you have your screws. I'll see if the standard RMR screw will work with it as well, but you know, I'll probably end up just leaving these on that came with them. All right, so I have the base of the RMR removed. I'm going to mate it up with the kick. There we go. And let's see if these screws work. So it looks like the screws that came with the RMR work just fine. They're short enough that they don't extend past the bottom of the optic mount. Well, there we go. Yeah, well, you know, I'm actually just gonna leave these sealed up in the box, might as well. I can always throw some thread locker on, some Loctite if I need to. So there we go. RMR is mounted on the plate. Now let's get it on the Leap 08. All right, so they do give you the little Torx bits that will fit for the screws that come with it for the RMR, as well as these here. They are T10 and T20. However, I'm gonna leave these in since I was already prepared with this here. Put that back before it's lost forever. And the other T20, I think, that came with the scope mount over there actually works with these right here. So, yeah, I don't need to open up any of these, keep them pristine, sealed in the box, put that away. So all I got to do is remove these screws right here. 
and there we go. So if you guys want to know like, hey, uh, can I get a right hand and use it on the left hand side? No, you can't. If you saw when I put it on, the two studs are in the front. It's not reversible, so uh, you just have your optic facing backwards. So this is the right hand one. And let's get a look, good look at those mating surfaces there. I'm not very well versed with my geography terms and everything, but as you can see, it mates up there. Hmm. All right, so seems pretty straightforward. So real quick, I didn't notice, notice this the first time, but it shows right there, uh, you should put 30 inch pounds of torque on it. I still have not found my torque wrench, my small one. I got the big one, but I'm not sure what the little one is. Uh, this is, not sure if there's any real easy way to do this. Just fumbling around right here. That's the wrong size. This would help to get the smaller one, wouldn't it? There we go. <laughs> now we're making progress. All right, so I got it started. Just kind of have to hold the mounts in place until you can kind of drop the screws into location. There we go. That is a nice solid feeling look hookup right there or lockup rather. So here you go. You have a your LPVO. And then all you have to do is kind of twist it to the side and you have your RMR. Now unfortunately, I have a very big turret cap over here on the side. Golly, so my view isn't completely instructed, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of turret cap right there. Let me give you guys a measurement real quick. So in case you guys want to know if you guys will run into an issue with your turret cap obstructing your view. All right. So this turret cap right here, it is around an eight of an inch thick so if you guys are dealing with something that size or even greater you might have a lot of your view obstructed now i don't think i'm not really sure about this scope i could leave it on cap possibly but i don't think it's that much of an issue there we go so yeah a little bit of an obstructed view but, you know, nevertheless, this is still kind of a backup optic for quick, up-close engagements and everything. So most likely, I still have my left eye open, and I will be able to see around it, too. So quick final thoughts about it. I am looking forward to this. So it is a very interesting setup. There's other options you have out there. You can get a, you know, 3545 that will mount directly to your rail in front of it right on the flat top of your receiver AR-15. Uh, those will probably be heavier. It's not integrated like this. Definitely won't look as cool, but you guys know that is definitely one of the most important things. Other versions, other means of mounting, you can get them directly mounted to your tube. You know, if you have 30, 34, some 35, one inch, you can mount it directly to your tube and you'll have it on the top or on the side. Another option there, and you have some like the Geisley, Badger, uh, some other ones out there, Reptilia. You have a little match you can put on top of the scope rings and you have your RMR up there. So 
that really would be pretty terrible with something like this 1.93 inches and then a rmr even higher so this one keep it keeps it nice compact lightweight close to the bore and definitely a really good option especially if you're already committed to this leap 08 or 09 mounts but i am looking forward to this build and also this optic setup i'll be taking out to the range hopefully soon and i'll let you guys know what i think about it appreciate you guys watching take care